We are now going to take a look at an anonymous funk in Golang. 026, anonymous funk. Hello. So, funk foo. And then funk, parameter, code, execute. Right? So when we call a function, we pass in arguments. This is an anonymous function. An anonymous function is funk, param, code. Correct? Funk param code, right? That's a function. We just haven't given it a name like we did with foo. If it was foo, right, it's funk name identifier, funk identifier params code. That's a named function. Anonymous function is funk param code. There's no identifier, it's anonymous. And then we're going to execute it. So we throw those parens behind it. Because when you call a function, like when I call foo, i got to pass in arguments. So I might have x int as a param. And then I might say funct print line x. Which means when I call it, i got to pass in an int. So that's an anonymous function. You'll see it sometimes, so don't trip out on it. Let's run it just to see it run. This is foo, four. How many people that trips them out seeing the anonymous functions like totally foreign to your eye? How many people, okay, no problem. I just got to remember what all these vocabulary words are in these Spanish sentences because I'm learning to speak un poquito espanol. Yo tienes un poquito espanol. I don't think that's a proper Spanish sentence. It's the same with coding. You just have to kind of learn how do you kind of put the different vocabulary words together. Learn to speak it. Stop recording.